Confirmed hit! Target acquired. seem to get hold of him. Lewis, can you read me? Loud and clear. Are you out of the sewers already? No, I found a signal booster. A signal booster underground? The entire OCP communication network runs down here. It looks like the mercenaries were tampering with it. I wonder what they were up to. 
Whatever they were planning, I am going to stop them. in progress. Don't kill me! Do not be afraid. I am a police officer. I had this snazzy dream that I was a homeless guy living in the sewers. Oh, wait. Thank you. 
same chip when I was getting destroyed by these guys back in the prison. So I don't know what's going on now. Now did upgrade the combat by one. But other than that, I don't know why I'm killing these guys so easily now.
Grant finding out how bright it was supposed to be, because I might have had to use night vision. Otherwise. I thought this was going to be one of the things where I scan a bunch of things around here, but I guess not. OCP Communication, Eternal Link, HQ Connected, Employee Account, and Tanowski Wendell. Access restriction, CEO only. Why did they make him an employee? Well, I get this. This implicates the the old man, right? So he's the only one who can access Wendell's OCP employee account, according to this. Lewis, I found the computer. What did they need it for? Retrieving and processing data for my evaluations. Where was the data going? OCP's mainframe computer. To access it, you need staff credentials, and they have been using Wendell's. You're saying that OCP has Wendell on their payroll? The old man is the one who signed his contract. That son of a bitch! I knew he was behind all this. Can you send us over that data? I am uploading it as we speak. I'll make sure Reed sees it ASAP, so we can get you a warrant for the OCP headquarters. I am heading to OCP headquarters now. You know, in the, in the first movie, he seemed to be like the all right guy. Um, uh, I don't remember what his character's name was, but Ronnie Cox was the bad guy, right? Then he fired him so Robocop could kill him at the end. And then I think, well, why would he. Like when I visited him in the hospital, he was talking about. He asked me what the experience was like. Does he want to become a. Did I mention that? Does he want to become the next Robocop? This, this line of thinking is where I wanted to go with this makes no sense. <laughs> because if he wanted to be the next Robocop, he wouldn't need other people's brains for that. Presumably on his own.
Podcast. Hey, Robo, could you help us? We're in quite a pickle. We have here a dead campaign manager from Mills's office. This case is urgent, but we can't get inside the vehicle to examine the corpse. For some reason, the car is electrified. Now that everyone's on strike, there's no one to take care of it, and I don't want to end up like a well-done steak. I am glad to be of help. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Doesn't warn me. So I do need to find a. <laughs> it's not. It's not going to warn me if I don't find an objective when I leave. And if you can look around for clues afterwards, you know, uh, you never can tell with the electricity. Bulbs are burnt out. Something must have caused a short circuit. I assume a failure of the Magnavolt system. I will look into it. If it wasn't for that, we'd have probably found the car on bricks and him in just his boxes. I wouldn't be so optimistic. Magnavolt is deactivated. It is now safe to investigate the car. Ah, uh, great. But, uh, if you can take a look inside, uh, just in case. Gladly. There is an earring on the front seat. Could be helpful if we find out who it belongs to. The deceased is holding the phone. The last number dialed is described as the office. Was he calling his own office during the murder? Certainly worth checking. The victim was strangled. The rope was tied with a sailor's knot. Not everyone can tie something like that. The phone, the earring, and a sailor's knot. That's something to go on. And the place it 